ericmothetmother.com. Recently, we saw the explosive run by DPW. And we can see here, first and foremost, that during this initial breakout, we are happy to see that it met the minimum requirements for the ultimate Mwade breakout. There is a breakout right there as far as the RSI is concerned, moving to three-year highs. We can take a look at the MACDs, which were also moving to three-year highs. So in terms of the minimum requirement, that was not an issue. The stock met our minimum requirements at that time. And of course, this is a three-year weekly, three-year monthly chart, excuse me. What we can do is take a look at a four-year monthly chart to make sure that it actually did meet our minimum requirements. So now we are looking at four years of monthly data. And again, we can see that during this recent move, the RSI is definitely moving to three-year highs. So that's still not an issue. You got your RSI breakout to three-year highs and you got your MACDs breaking out to more than four years. Three years is the minimum, of course, but here just I went back one more extra year just to make sure that everything was in line in terms of the things we look for for minimum requirements. So we take a look here. We see that there was another move. In other words, it picked up momentum once the RSI caught and stayed above the 69.1 level. Once it reached that level, we can see that there's been a good push. But we don't see any entry here on the monthly, assuming that the initial move was too big that one did not have a chance to catch this breakout here. So what you can do is go and take a look and see whether we have any weekly rest period for more than two weeks of rest. And we can see here we've had pretty much three straight weeks to the upside. So no rest period. So we can't use our timing techniques in terms of two weeks of rest for the weekly time frame. So we are forced to go to the daily time frame. And this is how the daily looks like. Number one, take a look at the sharp angle of penetration that moved it above 50 and above 69.1. Another instant of sharp angle of penetration, sharp angle of penetration. And then finally, we get this sharp angle of penetration, which began with this move here. But we can't see any rest period here based on this one year daily. So I'm going to have to zoom in so we can see what has been going on over the last couple of days. All right. So we have a three month daily chart. We can see that the initial rest period is here. Let's call it at about 310, excuse me, 210. That was the close. And then we have one down day. Another down day below this close. So that's the minimum two days of rest. We have another down day here below this close. And then we have another down day. So those are four days since the closing high there. So logically that we know that we could have set an alert at this close here at about $2.10, give or take. And the next time it moves above that, this is the earliest we could have got in. The monthly chart does not give us an entry in terms of after the initial breakout. The weekly chart hasn't rested long enough. Of course, the monthly would need to rest for one month at the very least. Weekly chart would need to rest for two weeks at the very least. But here we see a chance because the daily chart is showing two days of rest. Minimum has been achieved. And because of that, the breakout would have been good enough to trigger an alert after sufficient rest. And so we can see that if you bought this breakout, let's say somewhere around here in the $230, $225 range, you had a chance to own this for a good 100% gain. Of course, that's the ideal maximum profit from here to here. And all that took was about three days. So again, we see another reason why we should be very good at understanding how to time breakouts. And it's very simple. We go to the monthly. We don't have the required 
two weeks of rest since the initial breakout. And then what we see is on the weekly, we haven't had enough rest. It's been moving higher every over the last three weeks. But we see that the daily chart did give us this close. We got four days of rest. Let me make sure it's four days of rest. So we can see here day number one, day number two, day number three, day number four. So we can say it breaks out on day number five. So that's how you time explosive stocks. Once they've given you the initial initial powerful breakout, they're going to settle down either on the daily or on the weekly or on the monthly. But your earliest bet is going to be surely on the daily. Sometimes even you might be forced to go to the hourly if an instrument is really, really in an explosive run. EricMwadetMwadet.com as always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E-A-C-S.